Hey, we're back here with Dan Olson, one of our foremen here at SWI, and he's gonna tell you some of the things that set our fence apart from everybody else. Dan has that special thing that we have, huh? Alan. Or Alan, yeah. Yeah, yeah you are, Dan. Hi, hi, Mark. So, I'm Dan, nice to meet you. <laughs> what is all that shininess? That is not wood that is holding up those rails, and you'd be right. We love an engineered product here at SWI, and wood, for the most part, is not an engineered product. Anybody that's ever driven through Wyoming on I-80 knows exactly how much wind we have here. Several years ago, we just decided we'd had enough. The treated posts rot off, and the cedar posts are not strong enough, and so either they're gonna rot off or they're gonna snap. Could you please tell us a little bit about this product that you've placed in the ground today? I could, I could tell you everything you wanna know about it. Okay. So these right are here. Postmaster posts. Okay. Uh, what they are is it's a solid steel, galvanized steel post that goes in the ground. Um, you can get them various lengths and they're set in concrete. I think we stock them from seven and a half feet all the way up to 10 feet. We do. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, I mean, you can, we can build whatever you could possibly imagine. We can do horizontal fence with these. We can do your vertical stockade fence. We can do good neighbor fence. There's not a type of cedar fence that you've seen out there that we can't build with these posts, right? Yes. So tell us why you're using this post and what's unique about this. Cause I've seen some of the round ones, you know, just round looks like chain link posts. What's different about this? So what's different about this is that it already has, it, one, it has the flanges on it for you. So you, you just butt your two by four up to it. It's got holes drilled into it. Um, so you can put your screws in from the backside. And it also has these handy little tick marks all the way down the post. So you can actually just place, figure out where, what tick mark you're gonna use and place your rails on it and go to town. Okay. Screw them right in. Uh, in my world, this saves me a whole bunch of time because I only have to measure one time. I measure one section and from then on I have what I'm going to do and what marks I'm going to use and I can just go to town and only have to use the tape measure one time. And these are called Postmaster posts. They're stamped right on there, except no imitations, by the way. Well, first, it's not going to rot. Okay. Two, if the wind blows, it's actually going to have a little give, but it's going to bounce right back. It's not going to give and snap like a piece of wood. It's steel. I think it's 12 gauge steel is what these are made out of. In five years, that's not going to be all rotted down there. You're not going to have to call me back and say, hey, my post has failed. Can you come fix it? I'm a little concerned about the color though. That's kind of ugly. I don't know if I like that. You know, and I've actually heard that a couple times today. How, are, how is that post? What is that post? And how come it's not the same as the post over there? So I told him, well, first off, this is a Postmaster post. It's never going to warp. It's never going to break. Warp, rot, crack, split. The only thing that this is going to fail is if somebody physically runs it over. But Dan, it's kind of ugly. I don't like the way it I'm looks. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So I'm really concerned about the way it looks. I have this shiny post and all this nice wood. We are going to take our pickets and we're going to go across this face with them, the inside. And then as soon as we're all done putting all the pickets on, we're going to come across the backside and each post on the backside is going to get one picket. And that picket is to cover up this post so that you never see it. I'll never see it. You'll never see it. I'll never see it. You'll never see it. Never. The, never. The only time you're going to see this post is you're going to see that much sticking out of the ground. My but grass can cover that. At the that bottom up. of the fence and you'll never see it. That's amazing. I like that. I like that a lot. So what are you doing to attach these? I am using stainless steel screws. Why are you doing that? That seems like overkill. Why do you need to have stainless steel screws, Dan? Uh, well, I don't know if you've noticed, have you ever driven down a nice cedar fence and like, gee, that guy's putting up a beautiful fence. And then two months later or a month later, you come back and it has all these nice little black streaks coming down. I have, I have seen that. You know what that's from? What is it? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. I am going to tell you. Would you please tell me? Yes, I will tell you. So. When you use any other kind of a fastener, except for stainless steel, the cedar has a chemical in it and it actually causes those black streaks. And that's why we use the stainless steel because the tannic acid does not cause that. That's a good deal. So what are you doing on the front side of the pickets? On the front side of the to pickets? To attach the pickets, what do you use We are there? gonna use a stainless steel fastener. Stainless steel fastener there too, huh? Yes, all the way around. I like it, I like it a lot. So I know these are set in concrete. Could we drive these? Yes, you can. And is that gonna be as strong as concreting them? 
Yes, because the fail point is still going to be at the top of the ground. And whether it's set in concrete or driven in the ground, if your ground is good and solid, the fail point is just going to change from the top of the concrete to maybe that much below grade, depending on how solid it is. So we could drive all these posts good, and not use the concrete and be just as good, right? Just as good. Every bit is good. And carry the same warranty. And still carry the same warranty. The only thing that's going to differ there is we're going to go with a little bit longer of a post. Oh, so we're going to put them in a little deeper. Yes, we are. I like the way you think. Why should people call SWI and have Dan Olson come build their fence for them? Well, you should get a you should get a fence from me or any of my coworkers because this fence is guaranteed against the wind. I'm going to guarantee it. They had 90 mile an hour winds like a week ago, a week and a half ago down in Cheyenne, didn't they? 90 mile an hour winds. Is this going to be all right? Oh, that'll be just fine. Dandy. So all the rails that we're using are two by four rough cut. And rough cut, what that means is that you're going to get a full two inch rail. It's going to be a full two inch by a four inch rail. We do that just so you get a little bit extra meat because cedar is a soft wood. So it does have some tendencies to be a little weaker than say your dug fir and things like that. As far as the pickets, we offer two different grades of pickets. We offer our economy picket, which is a five eighths by five and a half. And then we offer the three quarter by five and a half. And this project, it looks like it's getting the better of the two. So the whole point of putting the picket, the top rail fairly close to the top is so that you don't have that warping. What we've found is, is that if you have an extended because these pickets oftentimes are wet, what they'll do is they'll warp towards the sun as they dry out and stuff like that. So you get a whole bunch of back and forth and then your top doesn't look nice and straight. So that's why we typically do anywhere from four to six inches above and below the bottom rail. You know, it's really been nice talking with you today. Thank you. Really appreciate you telling us why you do what you do. Uh, it's really nice to watch, good prof watch professionals work. Well, thank you. I like to watch professionals work. Can, can I put your Bernie Sanders mittens in the video, please? Can I please? Just be like, so, we're building this fence, right? Really not. Well, okay, they kind of are.